Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at simplifying a Boolean algebraic expression that's written in conjunctive normal form um, by using sandwich swallowing. Now, the basic idea is we're going to be looking for a swallower, but this time, in, in contrast to disjunctive normal form, we want our swallower to be an expression that should lie above our current expression. Let's call it current expression A. So let's suppose it lies above it. Um, and everything lies below the empty set, which is zero. If you think of these things as subsets. So E A zero. So what we'd like is we'd like to show that if setting this equals to zero forces A to be zero. Because if E, if forcing E to be zero, then in a nice um, merged that preserves intersections, unions, or ors and ands, um, then it'll actually a will have to be in the um, a will have to be in the fiber, uh, the same fiber. If setting e to be equal to zero, um, so setting e to be zero, if it forces a to be zero, then actually will um, in force a to be strictly between zero and e. So. Um, and that will be very nice. So if E is zero, forces A to be zero, then we know that A is between zero and E. And if A is between zero and E, that means that E is a superset or A is a subset of E. So that if we take A and E, we should get again, just simply A, since E is, contains A, so intersecting just maintains a as itself. So it means that E can come in and and anything and swallow anything that is a subset of it. So this time, instead of setting things um, equal to one and then forcing something else to be one, we're going to set something to zero and force everything else to go to zero. So we take a look at this and we look for a variable that seems to be common um, throughout. And uh, we notice that, let's see, y seems pretty common. Um, so let's just try that. y is 0. So if y is 0, notice you're unioning on 0, so it does nothing. So this just become x or z. This will just become x or z. This one over here, so y will be 0. So think of this as not 0, so it'd be 1. So 1 unioned with anything is just 1. So this whole term will be 1. And if you're adding onto it, it does nothing because it's, you know, it's just going to return everything else. If you're intersecting everything with whatever it is, it's just going to be whatever it is. So this term just goes away. All right. Now we're going to the next one. And let's see. Um, when y is zero, so it'll be a zero here. It's like union on zero, so it'll be w or not x. So um, just w or not x, and then you're going to have over here, um, and and then you have, so y again is a, a zero, so like you know, let's just be not w or z, okay? So that's what happens. Okay, so if there's something else that we can set equal to zero that might make the whole thing zero, well, notice what happens more than once, z happens more than once, so let's set that equal to zero. And if we did, um, uniting on zero does nothing, uh, just leaves it as x there. So or w, uh, so and w or not x. Um, and so what are we doing? We're setting z to be zero. Okay, and uh, not w. Now notice that if you were to set uh, w equal to uh, w equal to zero, um, then what would happen is you'd have a union here with uh, zero and just not x. So not x and x would just give you zero and anything else would just be zero. So, um, so, so that means actually that w itself is a swallower of this expression. Oh, well, not w, sorry. Um, yeah, W is a swallower of this expression. So it can come over and swallow this up. So you really have W and not W, which is just zero. So this thing is zero, so the whole thing is zero. Um, so it means this whole expression is just simply zero. 
Okay, so y is zero and zero is equal to makes that whole expression zero. Again, what was I doing here? All I, all I was doing was taking a look at this expression and simplifying it, doing a little sandwich swallowing right directly on it, just kind of, but it works great. So if, so for instance, what, what I said was, okay, if W is equal to zero, then what happens? Um, then I end up getting, this simplifies to X, not uh, X and not X, which is just zero itself and something else is a zero. So yeah, we're good. Um, so it makes the whole thing zero. That means W is a swallow in here. So it can swallow anything that, can, that it contains. It contains, or that contains it, I guess. Yes, uh, that contains it um, because it's opposite the other case. So because if you take W and something bigger than it, then the intersection is just going to be W. If this contains W, since it does, or that's an or, sorry or because you're unioning w union something else w is contained in there and if you intersect w1 you just get w so w will be will swallow that guy so that'll just be um w and notice you have a w and not w that's zero so i mean simplified this is just this expression which is clearly zero is all we're saying okay enough of that so that means just wanted to make sure that was clear on why i was making those choices so y is zero, zero is equal to zero, that becomes a swallower. So we know that if we take y, um, in this case, instead of and, it's or, y or z. Um, so setting y zero and z is zero is the same thing as saying that y or z is zero. Y um, and z is zero um, can actually be true when uh, z is one and, and y is zero. So that wouldn't work. So really setting y is zero and z is equal to Zero is the same thing as saying y or z is zero. So y or z is the um, swallower, and it'll it'll swallow anything that um, that contains it as a subexpression because that means that this will be um, uh, contain it as a subset. So when we intersect on um, this, will replace it. So it'll replace this one and this one. Okay. So Y or Z will go in and, and replace those two. Okay, is there anything else that can be done here? Um, so Y or Z in that particular case. I think we'll stop right here. That looks, that looks good. Um, because, I mean, if, if you look at this and think about setting different things equal to zero and whatnot, it, it's kind of hard to actually obtain another swallower. You can play around with that. But really, this is the simplification. Just replace those two guys with this. And that's quite a bit simpler already. Thanks for watching.